Heyo everybody, Haku here with the top 101 Tower of God characters by screen time as of chapter 550 or season 3 episode 133 with us just going on hiatus right now. Uh, so I was originally, I did this for 500 chapters. For 500 chapters, I did the top 100 Tower of God characters by screen time. And I was like, okay, every 100 chapters, like two years or so, I will do an updated video on it. But then we were going on hiatus right at kind of a milestone chapter with the end of a saga, uh, with us being at chapter 550. So I was like, you know what, it's been 50 chapters, I'll do a chapter 550 update since we're going to be on hiatus anyway, give people something to watch over hiatus. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are. And I've been, as chapters have been coming out, I've been taking screen time notes week to week anyway. Um, so I already had the notes. Uh, it's interesting. So, when it comes to positions changing, I, like, to me, the positions changing aren't as extreme, mostly, as I thought they would be, but at the same time, maybe my idea of them changing being extreme isn't the same as other people's ideas. Maybe it's a lot more than what I perceive it to be, uh, because none of the characters are in the same position they were. Uh, last time, I believe, outside of the top 20, and even within the top 20, even within the top 10, uh, there are some definite changes. So, yeah, there, there, there are some changes, for sure, to pretty much every position. Um, as usual, before I get into the top 101, I want to go over the rules I used for collecting screen time notes. Um, this is by chapter appearances, because, again, this took... Uh, hours upon hours, dozens of hours to do when I was going through the first 500 chapters, and that was just going by chapter appearances, so to go by panels would just take years and years. Like, if you wanted to see this video five years down the line, uh, and pay for me to work full-time for those five years doing notes on every single panel, then it's like, yeah, it's possible, but yeah, just statistically with the amount of time it would take to do something like that um it would take years so i have to go by chapter appearances and i think going by chapter appearances is pretty fine anyway when it comes to looking at the results um but rules i used were that i collected notes on any character who was recurring or who had a cu introduction box with like their name and everything um, flashbacks did count for screen time because, I mean, that is the character getting screen time. Uh, but silhouettes only counted, silhouettes only counted if it was very clear who they were. Like, if CU was like, Baylord, if a character was like, Baylord Yama, and then we see a silhouette that's like, obviously Yama, it's like, okay, that counts. Um, but if, like, if it's questionable, or if we, like, aren't really supposed to know, I'm not gonna make a guess at it, because that's not right to do. Uh, it's only, like, if it's confirmed, if it's, like, straight up, oh yeah, this silhouette is obviously meant to represent this person, uh, then it counts. Also, special cases, Emily, I mentioned before, was a special case where... I only counted whenever somebody was talking to Emily or about Emily and we saw the actual Emily mascot character. Um, for White, I counted whichever character is in, like, control or whatever. When White is Joaquin, it counts as Joaquin. When White is Vicente, it counts as Vicente. Um, that's how that counted. I'm trying to think if there were any other special cases. I guess the only other special cases I can think of I don't know if this was ever the case for Beta, but I know it was once for Mick Cage, where there was this one time where Mick Cage carried on this whole conversation with, like, Yasracha or somebody, but the whole time we didn't actually see Mick Cage, we just saw a purple lighthouse meant to represent him, but I counted that, or I counted that as a Mick Cage, or Mick Cage appearance, just because even though it was the purple lighthouse instead of him, the purple lighthouse was meant to represent Mick Cage, and also... Like, it was a whole conversation. It wasn't just, like, some slight appearance or anything. It was, like, a whole conversation. Um, so I really figured that that should count as screen time. Uh, so there might have been other cases like that, but I can't really think of any. Uh, so yeah, I think those are all the rules that I needed uh, to explain. Just any questions, like an FAQ, any questions people might have had before I got into it. Uh, and last thing, before we get into the top 101... I wanted to talk about some of the runner-ups, some of the people that were really, really close to making top 101 but weren't there. 
uh, some of which, a lot of which, were in the top 100 last time, but just got knocked out of the top 100. So to make it into the top 101, and it's 101 instead of 100 because of ties, uh, to make it in, you needed to have 20 appearances in the series. But here's the thing, uh, with 16 appearances in the series, you had the God of Guardian, uh, or the God of Guardians, Red Greymon, Garam Zahard, and Lopobia Perdidi. Uh, they had 16 appearances. There was nobody with 19 appearances, by the way. Uh, with 17 appearances, some people who made it into the top 100 last time, um, there was Lilial, Sanchez, Miayum, Dadaviol, Elpathion, Death Lady, Ja Lulu, Mian, and Berdish. Oh man, Berdish, I wish he could have made top 100. And then with 18 appearances, again, people who were in the top 100 last time, uh, with 18 appearances, there was Apple, or there was Apple, Pobedal Gastang, Yuliu Mata, Ari Bright Sharon, Deng Deng, and Pobedal Liboric Kuhn. So Liboric didn't make top 100 last time, neither did Gastang, but they were really close this time, only two appearances off. Um, so yep, yeah, those were all of the, uh, the honorable mentions. So now, again, like last time, it's not going to be my face up here. I used the same setup as last time for this. Uh, so let's jump in to the top 101. All right, so here are your top 100, and I also have uh, the positions they were in last time uh, to add sort of additional context. I threw that in at the last minute uh, to show you how much characters moved up or down in the ranking, and I also have the exact amount of times they showed up. I uh, don't know if I'm going to mention that for every character or not. I might this time. Don't really know. Uh, but last time, uh, Hana Yu, Heljo, Kanzone, and Suo were all tied for 91st place, and now they're all tied for 98th place, making up numbers 98 through 101. Uh, so they're in our top 100 just barely this time. Sadly, it seems like, again, next time we do an update, Heljo is probably going to get kicked out. Um, same with Kanzone. Please, please see who bring Hana Yu back. Don't let, don't let her get knocked out of the top 100. Uh, for 90th place, we have Lopobia Lafav, Lopobia Yul, Huang, Medley, Pedro, Mastral, Eo, and Sun Wu Nare. A massive, massive tie. And actually, last time, Sun Wu Nare, Eo, Mastral, Pedro, Medley, and Huang were all tied for 84th place. So again, dropping down a bit. But, Yul and Lafave weren't here last time, so Yul and Lafave have broken into the top 100. Going now into the top 89, we have a 5 way tie for 85th place between Hong Chanwa, Michael Verdi, Arie Albelda, and the Sweet Fish, or Firefish. Um, let's see, where were all of them at last time? So last time, Albelda was in 84th place, so she's only dropped one position. The Sweet Fish was in 91st place, so the Sweet Fish has actually moved up. And I believe Chunwa, Michael, and Verdi were all tied. They were all tied for 80th, so they've dropped down five positions. We have Jordan in 84th place, who has dropped from 75th. Oh, for Jordan, I love him. Uh, we got Kel Hellum, who's dropped from 74th down to 82nd. And Lopa Biaran, who's dropped from a tie with Jordan in 75th last time. Uh, to now tying with Kel Hellum in 82nd. I feel like our top 81, like 7, has like made a lot of really big changes from what was, what, 71 to 80 last time. Uh, so for the 78th through 81st place is a tie for 78th with Dad is a Hard Bodice and Gado, who were all tied for 71st last time, and Akriyung, who was tied for, er, who was in 75th. Yeah, he was part of that tie. So again, Akriyung's moved down a little bit. Dad is a hard bodice and Gato moved down quite a bit. Probably going to continue to move down because we're not going to see more of them, presumably. Uh, Lopobia Traumare, who was not here whatsoever last time, moved all the way up to tie in 75th with Levin and Madarako, who were tied for 69th last time. Uh, Mule Love has moved all the way up for Mule Love was part of the huge tie for 100th place last time. Mule Love has moved up from 100th place to 74th place. So, really big jump there for Mule Love. Uh, 71st place this time is a three-way tie between Serena, Ho, and Dada Edwan. Uh, the three of them were all tied last time, I believe, but they were tied for 64th place last time. Uh, so again, 
bit of a drop for them, unless miraculous. Well, yeah, we're, we're not seeing Serena, no. I don't think we're seeing... Like, Data Edwan's been deleted with the rest of the Hidden Floor. We're not seeing them again. They're only bound to drop more, I guess. Moving into our top 70, we got Vargarv in 70th. We've got a tie for 67th place with Yurik Mazano, Ha Chonhee, and Dewan. We've got a tie for 65th between Ron May and Arya, who I'm noticing look weirdly sort of similar here. Uh, we have a tie for 63rd again with uh, Kun Macheni, Zahard, and Shah. And then in 62nd place is Alexei Miko Chaz. Uh, so there are some changes here. Vargarv last time was in 63rd place, dropped down to 70th. Uh, Yurik was in 62nd, has dropped down to 67th, five spots. Uh, but both... Actually, I was going to say they both moved up, but they have not. Chonhi last time was in 64th, so Chonhi has also dropped. Not as much as Mazano, but she has also dropped a bit. Uh, Dewan, though, Dewan was in 75th place, so Dewan has moved up a bit. Uh, Arya, Arya is a really shocking one, because Arya wasn't even here last time. Within the last 50 chapters, Arya is just... Uh, she showed up a little bit before then, but she's jumped all the way up to 65th place from not even being in the top 100. Uh, Ron May last time was in 61st place, dropped a little bit. Um, Cha last time, where was... Cha was in 80th place, so Cha is another one. Cha's moved up a bit. Uh, Macheny was in 75th, so Macheny's moved up quite a bit. Uh, not as big of a jump forward as Cha, but still a pretty sizable jump. Was that 12 spots up and Cha was 17 spots up? Um, Amigo Chaz was in 60th place last time, so he's actually moved down two spots. Uh, but uh, yeah, that brings us to our top 61 next. And in the top 61, we, uh, we we start off with a tie. There's a bunch of pairs here. We start off with a tie between Pericule and Muntari for 60th place. And it's like, I'm so happy for Muntari being this high up. And I'm just like, come on. I The Pericule meme character thing has just gotten old to me. But we have 58th place as a tie between Chang Blarod and Adie Vicente, who had... Probably the most massive jump up, but we'll get to that. Uh, 56th is a tie between Reflejo and Daddy Yuan Sung, uh, who we probably won't be seeing any again. Uh, 54th place is a tie between Elaine and Paul, and it's like, ah, I kind of, I want better for Elaine. Also, Paul is just, wow, Paul is fallen off. Uh, 52nd place, we got Vespa and Poto Po tied. And in 51st place, we have Quant. And as for how they've changed, so Muntari and Pericule, they're in 60th place now, but last time they were tied for 56th. So that's not really too massive of a drop. Cheng Blarod was also tied for 56th last time, but we've actually had a flashback shot of him, uh, him and Quattro, so we actually got to move up a little. So he's tied with Vicente, who was part of the tie with Mule Love for 100th place last time. So again, Mule Love had a massive jump from 100 to 74. Vicente, who when I first saw this result, I'm like, Vicente jumped from 100 to 58? That's a massive, that doesn't make sense. Because uh, it just feels like, you know, he took over as the main body of White or whatever. But I'm like, what did he really do after that? But then... Then I remembered the Leviathan stuff. He was there with his book for the Leviathan stuff for quite a bit. So, you know, maybe it does make sense for him to have this big of a jump. Uh, Rafleo and Daddy Yuan Sung were also tied last time, but they were tied at 54th place. So, again, they've dropped just a teeny bit. Uh, Elaine last time. Elaine should have moved up. Yeah, Elaine was in 59th place last time, so she's moved up five spots. But Paul last time was in 53rd place, so Paul's dropped a spot. Um, Vespa and Poro po also were tied with Jinsung at 48th place. Jinsung has moved up, but they have dropped from 48th down to 52nd. And Quant was in 47th last time, but has now dropped out of the top 50 to be in 51st. Then we finally make it to the top 50, where we start sort of chilling out with the giant ties as much. Uh, but we do start out with a tie between Emily and Go Sang, who were tied last time. 48th place is Akka Williams. 47th is Hong Danwa. 45th is Quattro Blitz, who was tied with Danwa last time, but got to move up a little bit, because like I said, there was the flashback with um, Quattro and Chang in it. Uh, we had Leroro in uh, 45th as well. We have a three-way tie in 42nd with Angel Ragwell, Hanul Kang, who was tied with her before. 
and Lopobia Yisracha, who I'm not going to lie, I feel like with the flashback, with the trauma ray stuff, I feel like we've seen a ton of Yisracha. So to me, I was thinking Yisracha was going to be way higher up than this. And we have Kalavan in 41st place, just not in the top 40. Last time Kalavan was in 51st place, just outside of the top 50. So Kalavan's moved up a good 10 spots. Uh, but as for Emily and Gosang, who are in 49th now, last time they were in 44th, they've dropped 5 spots. Um, Aka Williams was in 43rd, so also dropped 5. Hong Danwa was in 41st, dropping 6 spots, and was tied with Quattro, who was in 41st, who has only dropped 4 spots, not as big of a drop. Uh, and Lero, or Lero Ro last time was actually 40th, so 5 spot drop for Lero Ro. Um, Angel or Ragwell and Hano Kong last time were 38th, so again, a four spot drop for them, right? Yeah, and um, then Yasracha actually last time was 64th, so he's made the jump from 64 to 42, and again, that's a big jump. That's that's a uh, that's a 12, 22, 22 spot jump, but. I don't know. It's a 22 spot jump, but I just really felt like I was like, we have seen a ton of Yisracha. I thought it'd be an even bigger jump than that. And like I mentioned before, Kalavan barely didn't make top 50 last time. This time he's barely not making top 40. We start our top 40 with yet another tie, which seems to be a running theme for uh, this update. Uh, but in 38th place is a tie between Ed and Dan, Blusser, Elliot, and Evan Kell. In 37th is Baylor Doom, who has had quite a jump. Uh, 36th is Ha Jinsung, who has had a solid jump. I thought, I was like, I thought Jinsung, again, like Yisracha, would have an even larger jump forward. Uh, Daniel Hatchet in 35th, Zha Zha in 34th, like, happy to see her that high up. Uh, 33rd, Fonsecal Lare, 32nd, Beta Wild, and 31st, Kang Horyang. Uh, so most of these are actually fairly similar to where they were last time. We're getting to the point uh, where they have more appearances, so they don't quite have as, like, wild or crazy a jump or anything. So Evan Kell last time was in 44th place, but has jumped up to 38th to tie with Dan and Elliot, who were tied last time at 36th place, but have dropped down two spots to 38th. All of them have appeared in the series uh, 50... 54 times. So yeah, they all have 54 appearances in the series. Baylord Doom has appeared, uh, where is he here? Baylord Doom has appeared 61 times in the series, and last time he was in 52nd place. So again, Doom having a really large jump of 15 spots a year, uh, from 52nd place all the way up to 37th. Uh, Jin Sung had a jump all the way from 48th to, um, to 36, so another, a pretty big jump, a 12 spot jump, I thought it would be even more of a jump than that, uh, but Jin Sung has appeared just one more time than Doom at 62 times, uh, and then the rest have all just moved down a spot from where they were last time, the next four at least, uh, Daniel last time was 34th, Zha Zha 33rd, Lerae 32nd, and Beta 31st, so they've all just moved down one spot, and Horyang actually has moved down two spots from 29th to 31st, uh, Horyang is sitting at 70 appearances in the series. We move now into a tie for our top 30. In 29th place, we have Beto Beto and Baylord Yama. Yama, another character who's had a decent jump, but with as much as we've seen Yama, just like with Yisracha, I, I was convinced that Yama could have even gone top 20, but, like, not as extreme a jump as I thought. But then again, like, the gaps just kind of keep getting larger as you go up. Uh, Traveler in 28th place was tied with Beto Beto last time, but was saved by the last chapter, the one appearance of Traveler. Uh, like, knocked them one, like, one panel. One panel shot them above Beto Beto. Uh, Novik in 27th place, 26th, Benjamin, or Benjamino Cassano, 25th, Evan Edwak, 24th, Yuan Sung, who has had a bit of a jump. Uh, Prince in 23rd, Ron in 22nd, and Fonsecal Irude got knocked out of the top 20 and is in 21st now. Um, so again, last time, I guess I'll give more information on all of them. Beto Beto and Yama are tied at 79 appearances in the series. Uh, Beto Beto last time was 27th, so it was dropped two spots. Um, and Yama last time was 35th, so it was jumped from 35th to 29th. 
Um, Traveler has appeared just one more time at 80 times in the series because of that that one panel and uh, is was also in 27th last time but has only dropped one spot. Uh, Novik, Cassano, and Evan have all dropped one spot. Last time Novik was 26th, Cassano was 25th, and Evan was 24th, but they've all just got knocked down one spot. Uh, Yu Han Sung, who has appeared 86 times in the series, was in 30th place last time, but has jumped up from 30th to 24th. Um, so again, I guess if you combine Yu Han Sung with Daddy Yu Han Sung this time, which is something I mentioned last time, uh, they would be probably like 13th place maybe 14th somewhere around there uh so yeah yuan sung on their own 24th place and prince kun and ron i believe also have yeah they've only dropped one spot last time prince was 22nd ron was 21st and irude was the 20th so they've all moved down a spot irude losing that top 20 spot and taking the top 20 spot is Karaka, who was in 23rd last time. So Karaka's made the jump into the top 20. We've got Hayura and Anak, who we've both seen a teeny bit here, right at the end before making this update. And they ended up tying each other for 18th. Uh, we've got Hockney in 17th, Akraptor in 16th, Yuri in 15th, Sachi in 14th, Misang in 13th. And all of those are the same. So last time Karaka was 23rd, and Karaka's now moved up to 20th. Uh, Hayura was actually 19th and Anak was 18th, but Anak retains her 18th spot, but Yura ends up tying her. Hockney, Akraptor, Yuri, Sachi, and Misang were all in the same exact spots. They were all 13th through 17th last time. Yan Yiwa has actually dropped a spot from 11th into 12th, and Hatsu has also dropped a spot from 10th into 11th, so Hatsu has been knocked out of the top 10. Also, you know what, I guess before I continue, I'll give the chapter appearances for all of these characters for anybody interested since I did for the top 20 last time. Karaka's appeared 93 times in the series, Anak and Yura have both appeared 97 times, Hockney has appeared 103 times, he was only one away from catching up to Akraptor who's appeared 104 times, and Yuri has appeared 106 times. So honestly, if we don't see much more Yuri and Hockney sticks around, Hockney could end up jumping above Yuri. Now then we get a bit of a larger gap. Sachi has appeared 116 times, uh, Misang has appeared 124 times, and Yuwa has appeared 129 times. Hatsu, who's been around, has appeared 139 times. And that brings us into our current top 10 characters who have the most screen time in Tower of God. And there have been some changes. So 10th place, we have Arie Joaquin, who has appeared 141 times in the series and was in 12th place last time, but has jumped past Yiwan Hatsu to make it into the top 10. We have Boro, who has appeared 154 times and was in 8th place last time, but Shivizu has appeared now that he's been around for the nest. 155 times just by one chapter Shibisu passing Boro. Uh, and honestly, neither of them are that far off from Wangnan, who has appeared 159 times in the series and who was also in seventh place last time. Now though, we have Rachel getting knocked out of the top five. Last time Rachel was fifth place, she was in the top five, but Rachel has appeared 187 times and then La Rion, who was around for the nest, even though we didn't see her like all that much, she's appeared 192 times and has passed Rachel to make it into the top, uh, the top five. Now she's not really that far off from Andrasi. Andrasi is just one away from 200 appearances. Andrasi has been in 199 chapters of the series, and then we've got Rack, Kun, and Bomb, who honestly, unless CU does something crazy, Rack, Kun, and Bomb their positions aren't changing. They're going to be one, two, and three. Unless CU kills one of them off or decides to not show one of them for like over a hundred chapters and then like show a bunch of like Andrasi or Wariun for those hundred chapters, they're not moving. Rack has appeared in the series 285 times, almost a hundred times more than Andrasi. Kuhn has appeared 387 times, so 102 more appearances than Rack. And Bomb has appeared four, in 490 of the 550 chapters of Tower of God, which is, what, 103 more appearances than Kuhn. So again, Bomb, Kuhn, and Rack are your top three, and 
I'm going to continue to do these updates, um, but I don't see those three changing. They're just your top three, and they're probably going to remain your top three unless the series goes on for over a thousand chapters. And again, one of them gets killed off or like really sidelined. Um, they're just, they have that big of a gap over the others. Uh, but yeah, that was your top 101 characters by screen time, plus some honorable mentions there at the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this. I tried to keep it as brief as possible, just give you the info and all that. Uh, again, other people last time did some reactions and stuff, and if they do again, um, I hope you go watch those. I'll be shouting them out and everything. Um, and uh, I hope to be there at least watching them uh, if I'm not a part of them. But yeah, either way, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching this update video. I hope you, uh, you know, continue to do well over the course of the hiatus. Um, I'm going to continue to make a bunch of Tower of God stuff during the hiatus. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, like, if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this list, what your thoughts are on any of these characters or anything like that. Uh, subscribe for more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you a link. It's free and open for anyone. And if you'd like to help support the channel on Patreon, it is patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes, or a link will be in the description. Um, thank you hugely to people who are already patrons. But either way, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.